everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness and if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so y'all you asked me about it you're the ones who actually informed me about it and now we're gonna talk about what more fragrance mist honey you know <laughs> Ness came out with new fragrance mist. I have them all here. We're going to talk about them. I'm going to share my thoughts with you all. And I just have to say, if you have not seen my uh, fragrance mist video where I'm talking about how fragrance mist, body sprays, body mist, perfume mist, whatever you want to call them, are having their moments and everybody's jumping on that train and all those haters who were talking you know those videos you saw with the girls uh spraying down with body mist and getting all that hate you know aka from bath and body works and victoria's secret you know the cheaper fragrance mist and now look at them Look at every look, look at all the companies, honey, getting on the fragrance mist train. So if you haven't seen that video, I will link it above. Please check it out, y'all. Help the help your girl go viral some kind of way, okay? <laughs> Can you go viral on YouTube now? I, I don't know, y'all. So before we talk about these Nest fragrance mists, let me tell you what's on my the combination I have been obsessed with. Um, that you're probably going to see in quite a few videos because I'm loving it. And on the lip liner I'm using is the MAC Cork Lip Liner. And the lip gloss I'm using, and don't come for me, is the um, Giorgio Armani Prism Glass Gloss. And this is in number three. This shade, this nudie honey, I think it's called Honey Gleam or something. I can't remember the name of it. And these are money glosses. Don't put the name on the, the sticker, just the number. This has got me thinking, oh, there are money glosses, honey. That's how much I am loving this shade. It, the shade can change your mind about a whole line sometimes, y'all. And number three prism glass is doing that for me. Okay. So let's get started with these fragrance mists from Nest. They did all of the fragrance mists that match the perfume oils except for the Southwest, I believe it's called Southwest Pacific. Of course, I meant to bring that oil in here and forgot. But that's the only fragrance mist they didn't do. Um, no, that's the only oil that they didn't do a matching fragrance mist for, at least as of now. Who knows, they, they might see the popularity of these and who knows what could happen, more might come, more that's just not with the perfume oils may come. Who knows, because what's having a moment? Fragrance mists are having their moment. So the first one we're gonna talk about is Seville Orange. And let me tell y'all, this packaging is really nice. These are 4.2 uh, fluid ounces and i think the packaging is really cute it's easy to hold it's easy to spray i just i think they look kind of luxe i, I really do i think Ness did a really good job with the packaging um so let's smell this one now i've smelled all these i've worn them tried them out one thing i will say is for me it's a little hard to get these tops off on some of these fragrance mists i've noticed so this has notes i forgot to tell you all the notes um it says, scent and nourish your skin. Key notes of orange zest, pink grapefruit, and neroli. It says, use alone or layer with Nest perfume oils. So those are the notes for Seville Orange, and they're telling you how you can layer. Now, I had no intention of liking this one or keeping it because I'm not a, I haven't found a way with the, the perfume oil to just fall in love with this scent. But in the fragrance mist, I get more of a pink grapefruit, more of, it's more of an orange grapefruit blend. And it's unique to me in the sense, you know, there are not a lot of grapefruit fragrance mists. I can think of one that I have in my collection, just one from Bath and Body Works. And this to me is a more complex, citrus scent 
I do like, because with the perfume oil, which I have not worn in a long time because it's, like I said, it's not an easy reach for me. I do plan to rectify that this summer with some layering combinations. And we'll see if my mind changes about the matching perfume oil. But the perfume mist, I actually do like. I wouldn't say I love this one. Um, when I bought these, I, you know, I bought them all so I could review them for you all because you all were the ones who were asking me about them. Was I going to talk about them? And you told me about them. So I was like, I'm just going to get them all. But I, I knew some of these were going back. Okay. I already had it planned out in the budget. I know this one going back because I, I don't like, the, I don't, I don't dislike the perfume oil, but I don't love it enough to say, Ooh, I want a matching mist that smells like it. To me, this doesn't smell exactly like the perfume oil. Because like I said, with the perfume oil, it's predominantly orange dominant. I just remember smelling that orange. And I recently picked them up and smelled them, you know, because talking about these fragrance mists. And I still got predominantly orange. A heavy orange citrus from the perfume oil. But with this... Um, Seville orange in the fragrance mist. It's a nice grapefruit orange mix and I do like it I do like it. This one isn't a love and y'all see Well, you don't have to worry about this top popping off if you want to throw this in the bag That's what's one good thing I say about it. Um, I Don't even know what I'm saying y'all uh, <laughs> What was I saying before I was fighting with the top? I don't know, but to me, this is a nice orange grapefruit mix. Not a love. Like I said, I thought I was taking this one back. Just after I showed y'all, talked about it, I was like, yeah, this one's going to go back. I thought I was going to be saying it, but I do like it enough to keep it in my collection. The grapefruit note that I pick up in Seville Orange saved it from going back. So those are my thoughts on Seville Orange. Okay, the next one we're going to talk about is... Balinese coconut and this has notes of, well I can't read the notes holding up y'all this has notes of creamy coconut tropical tiari blossom and salted musk this is another one this isn't my favorite perfume oil from nest okay and uh, this is uh, this Balinese coconut I was like this one going back to <laughs> After I do the review, I had it in my mind, preset, you know, the ones I just knew based off of the perfume oil that they were going to go back. Now, this smells like the perfume oil. Let me say that all of these basically smell just like the perfume oils. It's just little minute differences in some that I can pick up. And this is one I do pick up a difference on my skin because smelling it from the top it smells exactly like the perfume oil and that's again a somewhat of a like i haven't fallen i haven't come up with a combination or anything where i'm just in love with that perfume oil and that's why i thought i would not be keeping balinese coconut fragrance mist but on my skin in the air with the fragrance mist this is softer it is more of a i would say I wouldn't, this to me isn't a beachy coconut. This is more, I always thought that Balinese coconut was a combination of Madagascar vanilla perfume oil with some coconut that they added. And in the air, this is a more perfumey. It's not what, it's not your typical coconut fragrance. That's what I'm trying to say. It's more upscale smelling. I think that's a good way to say it. It's not, because when I think of coconut, usually you think me. Uh, casual summery um, kind of sweet maybe creamy uh, sometimes it has that fresh waxy you know coconut to me I don't think usually uh, upscale I usually am thinking summer you smell good but more casual not really perfumey this Balinese coconut is what I would say is a perfumey upscale um, bougie type of coconut scent especially in this fragrance mist i love the way it smells on my skin in the fragrance mist and in the air so another one i thought i was taking back gonna save me some coins 
And I end up really liking this one also. So Balinese Coconut, winner for me too. The next one I'm gonna talk about is Indian Jasmine. This has notes of Jasmine Absolute, red, red berries, and pink pepper. Now, if you all have been watching me, you know this. Now, this one's not, that top wasn't hard to get off. This Indian Jasmine is one of my favorites uh, from the perfume oils. Oh, oh. This to me smells just like the perfume oil. Now, on my skin, when I sprayed it, it does soften some, but this one still stays very potent. And to me, Indian Jasmine in the perfume oil is very potent also. And it smells really soft, really pretty, really feminine. Um, it's, a, it's a sweet, pretty floral scent. You have to like Jasmine. Um, it uh, maybe the red berries are giving it the sweetness because to me it's a very sweet jasmine scent and if you've smelled the indian jasmine perfume oil this indian jasmine fragrance mist smells exactly like it and this one is very like potent and strong and projecting also that i get with that perfume oil for indian jasmine so Love this one. I knew I was going to keep that one, and I was right. So the next one we're going to talk about is another one that is my one of my favorites. These are my top two favorites. This is Turkish Rose. And Turkish Rose has notes of Turkish Rose, Black Plum, and Blonde Woods. This one to me smells practically like the oil. I'm going to say 99.9% because to me the perfume oil to my nose smells a little sweeter than this fragrance mist just i mean the the minutest hint of it's more sweet but i can pick it up on my skin this is how i said that indian jasmine on my skin was still as potent as the perfume oil the turkish rose is to me very soft in this fragrance mist when I spray it on my skin. It's not as potent and loud as the perfume oil, in my opinion. I still love this in the perfume fragrance mist, though. I love it. It doesn't bother me that it's a little softer. It doesn't bother, bother me that it's a little um, less sweet than the perfume oil to my nose. I still love it. It's still beautiful. This is a sweet rosy pretty girl scent if you've never smelled the perfume oil the turkish rose perfume oil and fragrance mist it's very sweet and rosy and fun it's rosy done in a sweet perfumey um very pretty way it's not what i would call a traditional rose scent it's something about turkish rose i really like maybe that's a sweeter rose because that is what i pick up uh, it's pink, it's pretty, and that is what I get when I smell the perfume oil and the perfume fragrance mist of Turkish Rose. Okay, so I saved the one that is the most hyped up perfume oil, the most loved perfume oil. I see so many people loving this perfume oil, and that is Madagascar Vanilla. Now, this has key notes of vanilla bean, vanilla orchid, and coconut. See why I thought it smelled similar to Bal Balinese coconut? So, if y'all have watched me, you know. Me and Madagascar Vanilla perfume oil, we're, we're frenemies. <laughs> Sometimes, I wear that perfume oil and I'm like, oh, I'm really liking it. Other times I'm like, oh no, I don't like this at all because it's not a traditional, in my opinion, pure vanilla scent, okay? So I thought this was gonna be one I was gonna be taken back to. And y'all, in the fragrance mist, I like it. On my skin, in the air, I was like, oh, this is smelling so pretty. Still doesn't smell like a traditional sweet vanilla. It smells like a 
dark, creamy, almost I want to say black vanilla, like, like you know, black plum, black vanilla. It, it just doesn't smell fluffy and sweet. It's not that type of vanilla. It's a deeper, grown up, not super sweet, fluffy vanilla. It is, I do smell that coconut, but I smell more of that vanilla bean, vanilla orchid. It's, it's just, it's a different take on vanilla. And you have to like, like I said, Madagascar vanilla to me is different. And it doesn't say it has Madagascar vanilla in the fragrance notes, but it does, it gives me a different vibe of vanilla. Deeper, not as sweet. Think of, okay, you know people who drink coffee, right? So, People who are hardcore coffee drinkers, if you're like me and only like the frou frou la la frappuccino cappuccino, they say you're not a real coffee drinker because that's not real coffee, okay? So that's what this, this type of vanilla reminds me of. This is your hardcore vanilla lovers that, you know, they don't want that, the extra. They don't want the creamy. They don't want the, the, the sweet, um, cakey, gourmand vanilla. They want that pure, deep, rich vanilla that's what uh this is okay and i prefer this in the body mist now am i gonna probably try the the perfume oil again since i'm enjoying this so much now maybe my nose has changed i will because it smells like the perfume oil but on my skin on in the fragrance mist i like it more it's a little sweeter and it does smell it just smells really good to me so I like Madagascar vanilla too. So I thought I was going to be taking back three of these. I thought I was only going to be keeping in my collection Turkish Rose and Indian Jasmine. And Ness said, girl, you funny, shiny. I'm keeping them all. I'm keeping all of them. Now let's talk about performance. I told you all how the different fragrance mist smelled, how it compared to the fragrance perfume oil. So these all last well on my skin i've got four hours and that was spraying lightly i didn't spray heavily i haven't worn these with different combinations yet just spraying lightly to try them out to see how they performed for you so i could tell you all they gave me at least a few hours and that's what i expect from a fragrance mist like i said i'm not one that purchases a fragrance mist even a high-end fragrance mist and think it's just gonna last like a beast mode perfume because you got perfumes that don't be lasting eight hours so why would i think a fragrance mist is gonna last eight hours <laughs> me some do majority don't so this is a good this to me has good lasting power good lasting power let's talk price these are 39 bucks a piece y'all 39 dollars so you have Sol de Janeiro, eight ounces, $38. You have, what else is there? The, the, the Fleur, you can get the Fleur Fragrance Mist, eight ounces, I think $35. <sighs> but you have the, the Skylar Fragrance Mist, I think it's three ounces, two, two point something ounces? Because I know I was dragging the amount they gave for $30. And then you have Queen B, Ellis Brooklyn, their full size fragrance mist. Eight, I don't even know if they're eight ounces. Do I have one over here? Yeah, I have one over here from doing a video. So these are 3.3 .3 fluid ounces. They are glass, but these cost over 40. Over 40, because those Ellis Brooklyn are very pricey fragrance mists, in my opinion. So, do I think they're overpriced? Based off of the, the um, you can say they're overpriced for the amount you get, 4.2, uh, you, you get a little bit over 4 ounces. But like I said, Ellis Brooklyn, you get, you know, 100 mil, the same as a perfume, and they're very expensive, very expensive. So, I think they're reasonably priced. They fit within the, the general price range of, fragrance smiths that are higher end fragrance smiths 
So I like them. Like I said, I was hoping, I thought I was going to be taking about $90 worth of these back. Well, no, over $90. So it'll be over. I was gonna take three back. I was gonna be taking over a hundred dollars. I'm not trying to do math in my head right now, but but I like them. So I I'm gonna keep them. I'm gonna enjoy them. Um, I would say I would say don't go don't, don't go out and get all of these. I just did that because of what I joined YouTube. Okay, but I would say to try them out. Whichever perfume oil you like the most treat yourself to the matching fragrance fits. That That's what I would say. Because Ness might have messed themselves up because their, okay, their travel size perfume oil, the slim, looks like a travel spray perfume, is $38? It's under $40. So they're about the same price as the their new fragrance mist. Their full size perfume oil, and the reason why I have not gotten any is $102, honey. So, why would I go spend $102 when I can go spend $39 and smell like the perfume oil? I mean, because you can get, you can get a perfume, you can get your perfume fragrance mist. Why do I keep calling these perfume fragrance mist? You can, you can get your body mist. And the travel size of the accompanying matching perfume oil and still be less than the full size of the perfume oil. So I would say do that. Do that. Because these last long, you can reapply. You can carry them with you. That's one reason why I love me some fragrance mist in general. And I'm, I'm impressed with these. I'm impressed. In comparison to other high-end fragrance mist, how do I say they perform? So de Janeiro lasts pretty much. I mean, I say they fit with the other fragrance mist. I really do. I say they fit well and they look, like I said, they look bougie in my opinion. I just love the, the size of them. I, I just love them, how, how they look and everything. I think they really look uh, aesthetically pleasing they perform just as good if not better than some of the high-end fragrance mists that i talked about in that video i already linked above if you want to hear you know more in depth about the different higher end fragrance mists that are on the market right now check out that video but ness did their thing um five fragrance mists i've added to my collection that you know <laughs> Look, good lord y'all what am i gonna do for storage because some people were asking me please do a video on your storage well i can't do a video showing you how to store anything when i don't have it set up right because i have an overflow of things now that's what i'm working on right now you probably won't see a storage video until i move because I, I plan to move in a year so that may be when when i can set everything up exactly how i want to that may be when i film a video like that so that video will not be coming anytime soon that i can foresee but i said all that to say what am i gonna do with all if these um doggone higher end you know brands are gonna be coming out with fragrance smiths all the time now and then you got Bath and Body Works, they be and, and Victoria's Secret. This just is too many now, y'all. Now come on. <laughs> and you can't be average just fragrance mist, fragrance mist, fragrance mist. But there, like I said, this is the moment of fragrance mist. And these Nest ones are really good. They're really good. And like I said, how I would recommend them to you is that if you love the perfume oil. Whichever perfume oil you like the most, go try the mist out and go to town, honey. That is how I would uh, recommend trying them. So I thoroughly enjoy them. I don't regret purchasing them. I regret that I had said, oh, well, you know, I'm not going to be keeping all of these. So I don't have to worry. You know, it, it went above what I set for my budget because I didn't think I was going to like them all. But hey, I like them all. So I'm going to keep them because I do not believe in that return and then repurchase later if I already have it. I, I don't do that. 
So if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me, have you tried the Nest uh, Body Mist? What do you think? Are you interested? Do you not care? Do you just want to stick with the perfume oil and you don't need the body mist? I would love to know y'all's opinions, so drop them down below. Please share this video with everyone, y'all, because we still try to keep it growing in 2024. And please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos and as I always say if you like my vibe subscribe until next time bye